Welcome to Still There's Alive. I am Ashner, your host and gamer. If you're playing a little bit of Conan Exile, this year party notifications. Ah. Nah, that's an image. Guess we're creating one. Ribex X. Server is full. It is but a lie. We'll wait until it actually tells me the truth. Hey there, little buddy. Hey, how you doing, Silver? to invite wow this invite is slow slow invite Give me my bad roll. Alright, what are we looking at? It's very quiet. Though that loud epic music before. Alright. So, um, what are we doing? Kind of want to head up to um, the base that's up in this area. And right now, I'm clear the fuck down here. Um, let's go ahead and try to get some. Gossamer. And we'll head. 
back that direction. Remember right, there should be some right up around this corner. What are you up to, Silver? Just came by to say hi. Oh wow, that's cool looking. A pillar under a rock. Yeah, that's cool. I approve of that base. Should be spiders. Yep, yeah, there's one up there. them but I don't see them. Uh. Uh. Man, we forgotten how to play this game. Went to uh, Rainbow the rainbow ghost uh <coughs> recon wildlands there for a minute That though. Oh. Fuck. Release. Uh, it felt like I was gonna overshoot it there for a minute. Yeah, where's all the spiders at? Huh. Okay, I just went over. Surprised I didn't take damage there. Guess they were hiding in the bushes. Huh. Pretty sure I've got this book right.
My phone died. <laughs> I am back though. Well, welcome back. By the way, I am good. How are you? I'm good too. What have you been up to? Let's see. Try to run. Right, sir. Buy him. Buy him. Let's just send me a picture. Hey, we'll have to climb up onto a rock. I like in this game. Pourquoi? Do I like this game? <laughs> or do you like this game? <laughs> Are you confused? <laughs> Hola. Hey, welcome back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so where am I looking for? Where am I going? Culver. Long time. Oliver, silver, Ugh. silver. He's got a new ni nickname. Culver travels. Fuck you, snakes. It has been a long time. Seem to be more down there, so. I meant to say, are you liking this game? Are you liking this game? Ah. Yes, I am enjoying it. <coughs> it is fun. When I was younger, I was trying to devise games like this before there was games like this. 
Minecraft was probably the first one that I really it was close to what I kind of wanted to a certain degree but even that's a little bit off um, it didn't have the the multi massive stuff that rust and this and a couple of the other games have that I would wanted to see in it I've yet to still see one that actually does a really good job of creating um, community inside the game Okay, theoretically we could go You don't you think Ark created community? Ark? No. No, not what I'm talking about. Oof. I should have got some more water before I left. Uh, because... <coughs> Some of the stuff that they're talking about within um, uh, where's it called Fallout okay, se gotcha. 76 like obviously there's you know gaming community kind of a thing but not an in-game like community or civilization because that's, that's what I want, want to see in a game where a game has the ability f for people to create a um, you know, a civilization with rules and laws and all that fun stuff in the game, but they have to, they have to do it. Hola. So, otherwise you just have, you know, uh, chaos and people looting each other and whatnot. I want it to, be, I wanted it to be that way, where it starts out where you're just people are have to ra rally together they have to rally together kind of a social experiment What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, we're close. Ashley S. Law of the Land. Must sacrifice your second child. Ashlers. Yeah. Yeah, that would be... <coughs> that seems fun to me. The things that you have to to do to get that to really happen, though, seems a little bit tricky. Because some of the things that you would need to make, make sure that happens is, is that... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Run. Sacrifice them all. Kids suck. Uh, I would assume he would run into... a lot of... problems with it working out, but... But, what is the things? Um, weight needs to mean something in the game. Goonies. Life needs to mean something in the game. Ha ha ha, yes. 
Lol. Uh, space needs to mean something in the game. Me as the dimensions of an object. Um, where yeah. are some of the other key things? Uh, uh, the notion of like I, I f and I haven't figured it out completely, but there's there's the idea of that your character has a level cap, but your weapons and your what do you call it like the items that you. Uh, find, don't, not find, make. Uh, yeah, you don't really find them. If you find them, you find them because you've <coughs> stolen them. Is there a game where if you die, you start over? Yeah, there's a lot of games that are rogue. It's uh, referred to as roguelikes. This game kind of has... has versions of that. My the game that I wanted to create was that way. This is basically if you died you, you had to start over. You still gone create that game? Me? I don't know. I'd like to. Um I I need to start just ma making games, period. I need to make make my first little goonie one and then go from there. That I have loosely planned in my head. Okay. Cuz um if I'm going to make make a game, it's probably going to be 2D. That's where I'd start instead of 3D just cuz I feel like it'd be um for some reason, I feel that it might be easier. Uh, I think for me to climb this, I think... Yeah, I'm going to have to take off my armor. Um, Goonie 1. Uh, unequip, unequip, unequip. And we will equip this. I feel like I should be getting some hydration from the rain. Happened. Okay, that's supposed to be equipped. Is it the right one? No, it's a light rev. Where's my. I 
this is scary. Fucking don't do that. That who? <laughs> wow, this valley has so much ore. I talk about the the first game that I'm gonna try to make is a basically a game maker. <laughs> I feel that it's the best place to start. If I'm gonna build something. If I should build something, then I could <coughs> build something that that I could use to build some other stuff. So fucked. I got you. But yeah, beyond that, I could, I don't know, but if I can, if I could get that going, then, then I could make some, maybe the other little Goonie games, or, and then, from there, then maybe jump, jump, uh, onto trying to do, like, more games that are 3D, and then, see what's what with that. Because I have a couple ideas. A lot of my ideas are uh, uh, three-dimensional, though. My first attempt at making a two-dimensional game ended up becoming a three-dimensional game. Uh, at least how it would work. It would be easier to make the game in 3D than it would to make it in 2D. But it would still be in a side-scroller. I want a Goonie game. You want a Goonie game? Hey, you guys. That shit would get shut down so fast. Huh. 
Yes. Gani game. Okay, now I'm somewhere safe. I can... Possibly... There was one on Atari. Give the people what they want. <laughs> here so this was my main goal we'll see if I still want to play this is my is it come on please <coughs> make mensch can't play Let's see here kind of would rather <coughs> maybe play the uh other game that I was playing earlier. Place, 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 place. Let's see here. Let's see what he says. I think he said he took his medicine, so he's maybe too loopy. Don't know what that is. Kick, kick. Um, let's try to see if we can't get some things going here a little bit, though. One of the main things we wanted to do is... Okay. Eyes are getting heavy. I will be on tomorrow. Alright. See you later, man. Uh, Night all. Take this. No, we just want to take that, right? Take. Go hit that button. Night. in there give me a life update ash what give you a life update oh I don't know I'm uh I don't know I just just been rits and repeating and basically the same shit um let's see here for myself what else? Uh, what is his more life update? Um, I know I'm kind of close to getting the next uh, satire done. Um, I just need to get back into it again. I got a new computer to draw on because my old one, the battery, my Super Spro 2, the battery started to swell up inside of it. So there's that. Um, Fucking still bars. I guess I need to put them in there anyway. Um, let's see here. What else is somewhat possibly interesting? I. Uh, so I got a Surface Pro 4, like I said, which I need to try and see if I can actually use it 
to connect to a like a my Xbox and my PlayStation 3 so then maybe I can maybe actually stream some old school games when I feel in the mood there's a couple games I wanted to play right now I'm kinda not able to play them because I have these new games that I'm messing around with but I think it'd be cool to try to see if I could do that I don't know how if I can get the settings to work so to get it to work but we we, we will try um, I visited family you know that to see my nephews all my brothers have kids now so which is definitely interesting I kind of want to try to kill a mammoth. What about you? What have you been up to? I think if there's anything else that is really that interesting. Why is it doing that? Why doesn't it let me swap out shit? Uh, I guess that's not an equipable item. Can I do it deal with this? There we go. Set that down so I we can try to kill this guy. I decided not to go to the military. I graduated HS. I wanna become an actress model fashion designer. Ema um. just follow my dreams. Cool. Are you able to fall back on the military stuff if you wanted to. Or is that a... That ship had sailed. Yeah, I can. It has my plan B no. Now. Cool. So how are you doing the, uh, the uh, whole thing that you're talking about, the modeling, the uh, fashion design and actress stuff.
guys. Let's just mine it. For acting I must start taking classes to put on my resume, do student films, and then work my way up to TV and ECT. Cool. Are you actually going to uh, a school for this at all? Or are you just... Um, going to be doing for modeling Ema get my pictures taken professionally and then submit to an agency submitted to an agency okay are you going to attempt to get a, what do you call it, an, an agent? Is that what you mean by an agency? Use, take, all, more, bra, bra, bra. For a fashion designer, Ema sketch out designs and create different little things to create for myself. So you're going to fashion design stuff for yourself. I hate the clothes on the rack. Time to make my own school. Are you going to start learning how to sew and I've stuff? I've been thinking about school, but for right now, no. Okay. Yeah, an agent. An agent. Because yeah, I see. If you're wanting to do the modeling acting, that makes sense to get get someone to actually send you to to do things. And you just go at that because I don't know I'm pretty sure for the most part with agents if you can find one that is just taking a cut from whatever you're making then you're not paying them uh, what is it just to have them be your agent they have to get you a gig for you to give them to give them money I'm not sure if that's normal or not but uh, in my mind, that's I see that's how that should work. They they should be working for you. Ema also sell the clothes as well. Sell the clothes? Okay. Yeah, because if you can either learn how to create stuff and then then from there find um, someone else that you could actually hire to make remake what you make, basically. There's that, or doing a ghostwriter kind of a weird thing where you're just, you're not um, making making it, you're designing it and then having someone else make it. But um, I assume that is, that is tricky. 
initially unless you find like a a tailor that uh, has no ideas someone that has the talent but doesn't have the the creativity easiest way would be to just make your own own stuff tricky bit is is um, making more of a thing I am starting with shoes, then Ema do belts, ECT. Shoes? How's that gonna work? Is this just trying to design shoes? Or are you talking about like taking existing shoes and modding them? Ema learn off the internet how to sew any CT. Yeah, that part makes sense. Oh, I need that. The uh, notion of, uh, what do you call it? Um, Making shoes though, that seems like, that seems tricky, just in my head. But Ema, again, customize them, mod them. Mod them, okay. See, modding, that, that's, that's a different story. Um, actually making shoes, that's rough. <laughs> I think you could do it, but the how I would be going about that is not making the shoes. I it would be um, putting together shoes. This is how, how I would describe it. So basically, you're creating a shoe via f actually ordering, you know, soles, ordering, you know, pieces like templates. So when you actually um, put it all together, you're, you know, you can modify it from that, that position, but you're not, uh, obviously making that shit from scratch. You're using something that's already has a basic thing to it. Thing is, Once is I start rolling money, then Ema create my very own brand of shoes. But for our Anima mod them. Okay, I'm gonna try killing these guys. Is there a rock or something? I can. Oh shit.
Yeah, I don't have time to make it from sketch yet. Blocking my arrows. I guess for Oren you can say Ema create an internet mod store. Internet mod store. Oh.
getting dark. Watch out. Wish I could uh, put up like uh Oh shit, no one covered. Um I don't know. Heads on spikes or something like that at these areas so then that it would keep them from coming in the area for a certain period of time. Got a bunch of wood, so I can make a bunch of uh, this, right? Oh, I got some sticks too, so we can make some more of that. Let's do that. And do that. This game, Dante, seemed very intense. Mm, yeah, it's not as intense as Ark, I would agree. But I'm on a PvE server. I am also running a range character that is uh, makes it a little bit easier here and there. And then I also know where not to go. <laughs> It can get intense though. I am I am definitely playing it safe. <laughs> uh, 
What does that say? That midnight blue guy. The learning curve on this is of not as... I love PV. I don't know if you, you understand what PVE stands for though, maybe. <laughs> Do you think that means everyone or environment? <laughs> <laughs> This is a game like Skyrim where you spend like one zero 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 hours on odd. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a Skyrim slash uh, Ark mashup a little bit. There's a little bit of like maybe Souls combat in it too, because like if I was rolling rolling with the sword here. Um, you're like uh, doing a lot of rolling and attacking and whatnot, which I think but the game is kind of janky in a lot of ways though still like Ark kind of was this is definitely higher quality though I feel in a lot of ways. Let's take this. Player versus environment. Okay. Yeah, right. MOG happy tears. Yeah. Yeah, because this is player versus environment. <laughs> it's not player versus everyone. That would be free for all or something like that, I guess. Is how you'd run that. But technically, PvP is player versus everyone, basically. Okay, I think I need to do. Uh, I should be able to make some better stuff here. 15. Take all and we'll I'm just gonna dismantle these. another thing out there that I could go loot 
Let's just take all that. What the hell happened there? That was odd. What does it take to repair? Definitely want another one of these. Alright, let's see. information info huh. I am excited about my online store Still bar okay Yeah what kind of modifications do you think you're going to be doing? Is this something that you've done or been doing to your stuff already? ILL sent you some examples. Cool. Basically changing colors, adding patches, adding names, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm curious. How that works out. Or something like that because if you have a shoe and you buy the shoe and then you alter the shoe then there's and then you sell the shoe you should be fine in my head technically if you buy the shoe you can just resell the shoe so um, general if you're and if you're modifying it you can upcharge
but I think the uh, out of that list there, the the uh, initial easiest thing that you can do is uh, the um, actively modeling side of 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 that stuff. Because then you can put forth effort into getting someone to basically help you find roles and stuff like that. And you can go ahead and uh, you know do something and fell hard at it. Learn through filling and, that is right, Ash. and uh, do the school and whatever local crap on the side. I am finna be rich. Rich, rich, rich. See here, drop, give, move. Or move over. So we can do this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get this box full yet? No. Good, good, good. We don't want it to be full just yet. Cause I can buy fucked up shoes, repair them for cheap, and sell them for stupid prices. Yeah. You can, uh... Yeah, if you look at, um... Tutorials how to clean shoes and, you know, make them look nice again, you can recover quite a bit of stuff. I am trying to arrange my shoes from 120450. Cool. Because there's actual, uh, what do you call it? Um, hmm. What are these words? Laundry mats, I guess, would be uh, one way to describe them for shoes. Don't think that's the right word for for what I'm wanting, though. There's something a little bit more posh than that. Basically, that's what it is. It's dry cleaner. That's what it is. It's a dry cleaner for your shoes. If you found out uh, appropriate techniques that are similar to that, you could uh, easily recover some shoes that have scuff marks and stuff like that on it that are are just stained that people are getting rid of. And if you can do that, then you'd be fine. The other notion that you could run with is there is flaws in the shoes that are um, t 
too too much to repair, then that's when you say, okay, well, that's where I'm putting my bling, my the uh, the changes. Let's go ahead and run this way. And cut down this last tree here. Hope that works out for you. That would be really cool. See if I can't wedge another one in, in between. Uptime. X Ashlurks has been streaming for one hour, one eight minutes, five nine seconds. Wow. Damn. Nightbit. Hugs. This is crooked, but I don't think I could put it on that slope there at all. I had to make it crooked. It had to be. See, I don't know if I want to destroy these. I don't think I, I do initially here. I think we'll keep them until we've started putting more stuff elsewhere. What other things do I need to build here? Thanks, Ash. Uh... I don't know. Oh, a well. That's right, that's right. And I don't think I could do the big one yet, so might as well just try to do that small one, right? It's an unlock till number four to nine. Damn. Yeah, I got ways to go. So, um, what do we do? This, that. Let's do one of those. Come in here. Yeah, I think er, what we'll try doing here is
seriously? <laughs> Don't let me overlap it that much. I'm tempted to do it. <laughs> Just sad. Looks cool. Five and only fifteen. Hopefully another one can fit there. Where did I get? I got something. Give me a level. Is that a dragon I hear? No. It's a woolly mammoth, most likely. Skyrim music. Are we stealing? Right now? No. I built this place. Me and Munch. Uh, we forage most of everything we have eluded uh, from people we've killed. A little bit here and there.
That's cool. I think maybe I would put maybe a row of those here too, maybe. It's crazy that all these things are empty. One, two, three, four, five, s one, two, three, four, five. Five of those to just fill three in there. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at that well, shall we? What does it take to make it? Sixty brick. 60, what, 300, whatever the fuck that is, and 42 of those, let's see, craft, Let those cook. It looks like I need to go get more wood. Do we have any? Just hanging out. Dried wood. We have a shaped stuff. Looking to do that plus that. So I need to take this. Let's run. this and start this. Oh shit. It needs wood. Fucking hurt. Oh, that's bullshit. I was holding X. Fuck what you. What this game about? Ah. Uh, I am an exiled person. That will, you start out the game while you're you're on a cross. You get to choose to make your you know what your character looks like and everything. Um. For crimes that you may or may have not committed, so you're being crucified for crimes that you may or may have not committed. 
and then you are I'm not sure what this air place is called, but you're, there's a bracelet on her uh, arm. By the way, tell me about the one with the girl, and it was a high tech world, and she was looking for her mama. Oh, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, I haven't finished that one yet. I still need to finish playing that one. Can't remember what I what interrupted me on that one, but. I need to get back to that one. That one's good. But, uh, yeah. So basically you're stuck in a force filled like bubble area where you're a prison prisoner and you have a bracelet on your arm if you try to leave it it'll kill you um, uh, this is a Conan game so dealing with Conan the barbarian um, he's the one that actually saves you from the cross and then sends you in lets you, you know, kind of defend for yourself in here. And basically that's a story for every character. This Conan saved you and now you're doing shit. There are uh, NPCs, which are the, like the guys I've been fighting and whatnot. in here girl calling my phone sorry I didn't he hear you <laughs> okay that's all right was she a lap baby like you predicted oh I didn't uh, finish the game, I need to still finish it. I played something else and st or started drawing. Probably it was I started drawing. I bet that's what it is. It's usually one of two things stops me from finishing a game is either I get a new, a new game or I start drawing. <laughs> and I think that one I, I had to draw. And then. And then I picked up a new game. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like with that game I just need to buckle down and like uh, play through the storyline. I always get fucked in games, those Ubisoft type games, because I want to complete all the missions in an area before moving on, and makes me so I don't finish the game. So I spend uh, so much time completing the side quests instead of completing the game. there 
I hate when I get a call I can't e do anything else it has just stuck on the call screen. I don't e wanna decline it cause she gone know I am awake. <laughs> Take all oh, no, let's start that up again. So I guess let's try to find some more trees to maybe cut down this. Yes. Right here is gonna break here soon. I think what I'll do is stand up here, try to kill these guys from up here, maybe. Fucker go. Is that him there? No. So I don't think it is unless I missed him. Yeah, that is him. Where's that fucking with ricochet? Like, at the guy? OP damage. Make sure he's dead. That that should have got him. If not, he should be hurting.
Work. Work. Man. I like this game. I'm still kind of being pulled back to play that other one. Thing is, is I don't think I'll. I think it's probably going to be too late to do that. I would have needed done it like an hour ago. Because I'd like to have uh, an hour before midnight to wind down. Chillax. I think what I may end up doing is uh, first time. Oh no, fuck. Please. Why the fuck did it equip? Can you do a barrel roll? Kinda. Ah, oh, fucking garbage. Ema be up as long as you are up. Cool. Yeah, cause I, I was only planning up to stay, stay, staying, playing till ten, which is, uh, it's nine thirty four right now, so it's just in a half hour. I planned on trying to wrap things up. Locked, 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 locked. What is this? Kill them all. Kill them all. Yeah, all this metal, ra this rock around me, this stuff, this is. Tonight old. gone be like old times. 
or I am in the stream for hours on end. <laughs> Truth. Probably end up being worse down the road. Because I know. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully you, you get into a situation where you can actually get a, a PlayStation 4. <laughs> before the PlayStation 5 comes out. And then we start playing on that fucker instead. <laughs> But technically, um, uh, I'm hoping the PlayStation uh, f uh, 5 or whatever it is is going to be uh, backwards compatible. I'm going to be like kind of annoyed if it's not. Um, Liquid. Liquid. going to work for pretty good while oh shit I don't want to put my boots in there As much as I wanna buy a PS4 right now, I am Trina save money to get my car fixed. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. That's much more important. I assume eventually that that'll be that'll be a thing though, because yeah, if oh god, if you if you could actually play play some of the games that we are playing, that would be interesting. Because then you would be like uh, just part of the game with with that situation. Depending on what the game was, obviously, you'd have to be one that you were into. Commands Silver Rose, the bot commands for this channel are available at URL. I don't think there's really a lot of commands for Nightbot. I guess there kind of is. Um, I have another one that I've been running more so. It's the glitch bot one. Um. Barb. My name is Barbara. I work for Wells Fargo. I'm a true bad mammo jamma. You bitches can't compare to me. Oh, wow. That one's still available. Surprising. Uh, 
Alright, how much is it? Was it again? So sixty, sixty, three hundred, forty two. My mom fucked up my car and then went and bought her another one. What? She she broke it? Was this car given to you or did you buy this car? Cuz that's fucked up. Man, I feel I want to destroy this fucking thing. Bad placement. Um. See here. Does it? Do you get tar out of this? I'll see if that um, twenty-three goes up at all. Yeah. The bumper is fucked, the right side mirror is fucked, and sometimes I can push my foot down on the accelerator and it will still go to zero MPH. Wow. Yeah, that's not good at all. The car was given to me. No, it's given to you. Uh. One of those. The whole kind of hand-me-down car situation is usually pretty shitty. <laughs> Stone already. It must just take like four or five or something still
It has a nice starter car. Yeah, must it that you're lucky to get it. Uh, <laughs> so many issues. Uh, Giffen car. The problem is, is the only problem with that is, is a lot of the time that's more of a burden than it is a blessing to a certain degree. Um, if you're trying to upkeep it. Because it's almost like what you want to do with a starter car is run it into the ground. <laughs> and say and save up for a new newer car. You know I saw an idea that that if you could actually pull it off it would be really cool. The only problem is is you would have to be very lucky, I think, for it to work really well. Because basically what you're doing is is you buy a kind of cheaper cheaper car and then that is a little bit on the cheaper new side and you only use it for a little while and then you resell it. And then um, in the meantime though you basically instead of like you, you like you would pay uh, a car um, payment uh, for like a new car or a semi news car you'd be paying yourself that so basically you're actually taking a portion of your your money and putting it into savings somewhere and that's your car fund and basically uh, you use that money to upgrade to get a little bit better car while selling your old one and then you uh, continuously do that until you um, get to the point where you're buying only like cars that were off the lot like someone else bought it off off the lot and then you're buying it from them but you're only you're only like uh, having the car for like a year or two and then you sell the car um, but you're still always paying yourself money and then if you're having it in a bank it's gaining interest on top of that um, at some point if you have no accidents and does it screw up your you know the flow of this situation and you don't have any other problems with money that would you need to actually pull from that fund you could then um, get to the point where you're buying you could theoretically buy new cars it's actually kind of stupid to buy new cars because it's they they, they, they they rob you they overcharge uh, from the dealership so you would buy newer cars that had n no problems with them basically and then you'd be selling them right before they started having problems and have someone else deal with the maintenance. So you're never really dealing with the notion of uh, um, having to um, create, uh, repair the car. You're not having to worry about bills to fix the car only thing that you're ever doing is driving the fucker and putting gas into it and uh, doing upkeep because you'd want to do that with it we want to keep it in good condition so then you could resell it in, the, in a couple years time let's see here Where's all my fucking clothes? Did I accidentally get rid of it? Like my bottoms are gone. So buy a 17k car, sell it for like 20k? <laughs> I'll have to see if I can find the video on how 
how you're supposed to go about doing that method. Basically, what you're doing is you're buying a used car, and you're not selling it for more. You're basically um, selling it cheaper, but you're selling you're buying a car and only having it for a couple of years, and you're trying to s then pay yourself money so you can actually mm. buy a newer car. So you're saving up um, to um, to basically get a newer one, and then you're doing that over and over again. And the notion is, is, is you're always getting an, a better car every time you do this, uh, so that when you sell the the next car that you're do you're running, it will it will give you more money in return itself. So, and then you get to the point where you're run you're selling um, basically new cars because you'd get to the point where you're when you're buying a car, you're buying a basically. I think I am understanding. Basically, buying a new car that only has a couple of miles on it you know or just like a two years of mileage on it and then reselling that and then the money that you have in the bank that's getting in gaining interest because after a time there you would actually when you get to that new car stage you would be selling your car every two years but the amount of money that you'd be paying yourself and getting interest and selling these these cars before they have any problems uh, you would be making you would have enough money in your slush fund to have basically cars paid for the for the rest of your life um, if you can get in that space obviously the the trick is 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 not to have major car problems in the in between of the the, the beginning of the the situation and to get in a car wreck where your car gets totaled but if you're all running insurance or insurance uh, that's good enough with good coverage, then you can actually maybe get your car, just get a car uh, fixed, uh, fixed or get a new car uh, by that that way. So. Okay, now I know I gotta find my fucking my gear. That I pawned off somewhere over here, most likely. Where did you go? Where did I put you? Seriously? Does it just did it eat my gear somewhere, or somehow? Yeah, my uh, what what got eight? My tops, top and bottom, are gone. Oh, I think I know what I did with them. Hopefully, they're still there. When I was fighting that wolf, I tried to equip my gear, but I think I just dropped it. It's probably despawned already now. Damn it. That sucks ass. That's what's happened. Hitting wrong buttons. Thing is, is I didn't see it on the fucking ground. It's right fucking here, somewhere. Yeah, they're 
fucking gone. I'm gonna have to make them again. Shit. That sucks. There's a runner run all over here, and I can't, I can't. I'm surprised I did not see him. They were like enchanted and everything too. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Hmm. What do I need for that shit? I need pretty sure it's pretty basic stuff that I lost which is cause with the car I have I ran it has paid off it's all I off. need is to buy insurance and my grandma lives in Mississippi so what I'm do is register my <gasps> save cheaper insurance okay Smart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious if I can just Google that video. So I think it was like something like how to have free cars for life. Which it's it's not free, but how to have free cars for life. How to have free cars for life. Here is a matching video. Hopefully this is the right video. So, what do I need to do? I need to come over here. Oh, I need to make a fucking bench, though. That makes it a pain in my ass. Something that I need to do, though. I guess. On this side. 200 stone. 60 wood and 20 of that, so that's that's gonna be on the agenda. Thanks for the wisdom, Ash. Be right back, Ema. Go watch it, RN. Alright.
So, um, We need for this. So we've got the enough brick, don't have enough. The wood stuff yet. What was the other, other thing that we needed? off here. <laughs> Put this in here and start some of that going. Before I go lay down. All right. Uh, exit the main menu. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for everyone that hung out. I'm going to call it a night. I don't think Silver's going to get back in time, but it's... Goodbye, Silver. I uh, think everyone else that hung out lurked. As we stealth arts and live, I'm Ashler. As we return to the shadows, let's all praise the moments we share. Till next time.